Good evening. This is the day that the Lord our God has made. Let us all rejoice and be glad in it. Tonight, I'm just coming on to speak to someone who may be dealing with negative thoughts, thoughts from your mistakes coming back up, who may be in the midst of a situation that's just hard to navigate right now. It may be unpleasant. It may be painful, grievous. And you may be feeling like this ain't going to never end. This is too heavy. I can't make it. Thou art my hiding place. Thou shalt preserve me from trouble. Thou shalt compass me about with songs of deliverance. Salah. Last year around this time, I was going through a very difficult situation. I had used poor discernment. I didn't have really good boundaries. It led to me making unwise decisions. I was having a hard time viewing how to move forward positively. I was just feeling like retreating to myself and not really dealing with people around me. The Lord surrounded me. He compassed me about with songs of deliverance and with shouts of joy. I cannot testify for you and your experience with Holy Spirit or other people and their experience with Holy Spirit, but my experience with Holy Spirit is real. I can testify all day and night about my experience with Holy Spirit. What I experienced at that time is the Holy Spirit spoke through me and spoke to me. The Holy Spirit was speaking through me things that were true, that were honest, that were just, that were pure, that were lovely. And one of the things that the Holy Spirit kept breathing through me is God is with me and God loves me. Because I was thinking, oh, you done messed up, you done, you done did this and you done did that and I'm never doing this again and all that stuff. But Holy Spirit kept speaking through me and to me. God is with me and God loves me. And I was thinking, oh, this ain't me. This is the Lord encouraging me. This is the Lord affirming me. This is the Lord helping me to think on things that are true, that are honest, that are just, that are pure, that are lovely. This is the Lord that as these, uh, that as the enemy comes in like a flood of negative thoughts, he is lifting up a standard against the enemy. He is taking me above this whirlwind of, of negativity. So I just want to speak to someone. You may be stuck thinking on the past. It may seem dark where you're at now. Based on the word of my testimony, remember what is written about the woman at the well. She ran and told all those people about her encounter with Jesus. And it says many of them believed on him because of the word of her testimony. If you believe that my testimony is true, ask God to compass you about, to surround you with songs of deliverance and shouts of joy. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you to think on things that are true, that are honest, that are just, that are pure, that are lovely, that are praiseworthy. Mm. Yes, Lord. Intrusive thoughts. Somebody may be having intrusive thoughts. Thoughts that are hard to turn off. Hallelujah. There's a scripture that said, with man, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible to them that believe. God is able to help you to deal with intrusive thoughts. And so, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you that the things that are impossible for us, they are possible with you, Father God. I just pray for the persons that may be experiencing negative thoughts, intrusive thoughts, Father God, low self-esteem, Father God, just having distorted thinking and, and um, spiritual vision right now, Father God. I pray that you will enlighten the eyes that are understanding. I pray that you will sovereignly assist them by compassing them about with songs of deliverance and shouts of joy, just like you did for me, Father God. I pray that you will help them to think on things that are true, that are honest, that are just, that are pure, and that are lovely. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, God loves you. God is with you. And don't let no devil in hell tell you nothing different. Be blessed in Jesus' name.